Hi, this is Maria Borges, and then you are watching Everyday Women at KTN Home. from Angola and I'm a, I'm a supermodel, <laughs> professional career and I've been in the industry for seven years. Growing up in Angola, I, I was studying to be a, a doctor. I feel like I can save lives, you know, how health, uh, health issues all over the Africa are, so we, we need a very good doctor and I have not so good experience with my mom. I was like, I'm gonna save life. I was so young, I didn't know where the destiny was gonna take me. So I ended up to be a, a supermodel, which was the first opportunity that I had. And so far it's been so well. I tried and I, after a competition in my country, and uh, I was like, whoa, this is something that I, I can do it. I think it's gonna work if I make it so far see how many girls gonna be inspired by me and see how many Angolan African girls can have opportunity as well to be a star and you know help their countries help their continent so so far so good I stopped in Portugal which is the easy connection from Angola because I'm Portuguese so I stopped in Portugal, uh, I did pretty well the first fashion week in Portugal. Then my agents in Portugal sent me to New York. New York, I did great. And Af Forbes Africa talked about me, talked about my 70 shows uh, for the first season. And after second season, I was exclusive for Givenchy in Paris. Since then, the rest is history. I have done thousands of covers. Now I'm uh, on Forbes of my country, because I give them first before Africa, before anything, any, any, other, uh, any other cover magazine. I feel like as you inspire your country, you inspire the universe. That was it, the rest of history. Which I love the most about what I do is the fact that it's a big platform, there's a thousand opportunity, but you gotta be concentrated, you gotta be focused in and knowing who, what you're there for and what you wanna do for others. I feel like giving back is always been my way. And not mention that in 2015, I came up with, uh, with natural short hair at the best runway ever, Victoria's Secret, which opened a thousand doors for other girls. Now I see, I'm like, yes, I'm glad I did that. So many other African women, black women had the same opportunity. That was, that was it. I feel like nothing better than this. I knew I worked and I had my um, visibility and Knowing that someone is having the same thing, it's just like, well, I'm done. <laughs> Maria, when she's not on the runway, she likes to go with the movie theater with friends. She likes to have sit down with friends, talk about the good subject. And I like to talk about business improvement. And come and visit any other countries in Africa, which I'm doing now. I'm not here for work. I'm here to meet Kenya and be part of amazing panel with amazing, extraordinary women. So we're going to talk about women healthcare and how can we protect ourselves and get out of all the taboos that exist out there because some women, they don't have the right information. So I like to do this stuff, you know, share what I have the best, what I have learned and what I use every day to be a better person. As an African woman, I know there is a lot of culture. I don't, I'm not gonna call situation. That's our culture. We need to embrace it. But there's some 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 uh, subject that has to be improved, you know. And we have to decide what we're gonna do in the future. I know we have parents. I know we have family. We have a background. The history can continue, but we also need to make our choice. For example, if my sister never allowed me one day to try and 
make a risk on modern Korea, which my country never acknowledged as a, a work. Now I showed them, after five years, I showed them that I'm open business in my country with, uh, I don't know, honest money. I'm not there for to steal nobody. I'm not there for to, uh, to waste my time. You know, it's like it's a clean money. I work for it and they know it's this other commercial work, other work for the best designer. It's honest money and I'm putting together. I'm supporting my country. I want my country to support my continent. So I feel like those days in the in i know we have culture but our parents has to allow us to be who who we want to be and what our passion for the future they need to give us a little uh a little as it called a little trust so we can show them this is me ah that one me sometimes the parents want you to be a nurse or to be a teacher. Maybe you're gonna be a scientist. Maybe you're gonna be a, a TV presenter. So they had to allow us to be who we are. Yeah. So that's that's why I'm here for to say that my parents want me to be something, but they also give me opportunity to be who I I want to be, and it works. Nothing better than that. <laughs> It's so important for our family and parents to support us because we are in 2019. 2020 is a month ago from now, and the the, the world has changed for better. You know, all the technology has changed. Sometimes we see information that we think like mom and dad did have had this information. It's good for them to be open to allow us to share experience and grow together. I guess this, that's the point. I am a young leadership from Africa and the fashion industry. For example, I came, uh, I landed in Kenya and I asked my PR to search and contact the young designers and uh, stylists and to collaborate with. For example, today I'm wearing a Kenyan designer, what amazing. Oda Omo dressed me today to be beautiful in this interview, so that's amazing. And I feel like my, um, I feel like each time I have opportunity to showcase uh, African design, I will do so. And not, so, not only African design, any other design that I can support. And my goal is everywhere I go to support, uh, to collaborate with, you know, uh, with um, local designer, local, uh, local style, local uh, people that is involved in the fashion industry. I feel like through my work, it's important to do that because I'm not going to be here forever. So I want other young girls to come and do the same. This way, you know the the the, the mantra that is said, uh, African mantra that said that if you want to go far, go together. If you're gonna go fast, go alone. But you can you can make mistake. You're gonna go far, many many years. So work together. That's the message out there. I feel like when you do that. There's no way people are gonna be re regretted. You're gonna, you know, leave your uh, leadership. You're gonna leave your uh, amazing thoughts. You're gonna leave you who you really are and you, what you have done to others. That's so important. I want my legacy to, to be just, just like I'm doing now. You know like showing that in this earth we're here for to give back to receive back and i know some people they oh my gosh she's so big i don't think she's gonna re come to kenya and collaborate with young designer or local design this is who i am and i'm sure a thousand other girls even if it's just one girl see what i'm doing she's gonna do the same and the next generation they come thousand other girls they're gonna do the same not only in the fashion industry any industry because stylists who are, who we are we dress we want to feel beautiful every day we want to feel um, confident while we wear it so it's part of us dressing right and go out there looking beautiful and and also showcasing the the designer and give them uh, opportunity as well <music> I 
I feel like the most remarkable uh, moment in my career is this that has happened now. When I started, I didn't know how far I was going. I was just like, oh, I want my country to know what I'm doing now. I want my country to feel proud that I'm, I, you know, put out there the flag for them, you know, super high. But it ended up to also put the African flag because I'm African. So people ask, okay, you're African, which country? So it's about my country, it's about my family, it's about my, my uh, friends, it's about the young uh, generation that's come, it's about women. This, this is, you know, as you grow up, you think this is just for you. Then you realize, oh my God, this is actually bigger than you are. There's a thousand people who are watching what you do. So you want to always be the good side of it, you know? Because I feel like the bad side is a lot. I'm always about balance. For example, yesterday I didn't have a lot of opportunity and today I have so much opportunity. I'm helping my parents, I'm helping my country, I'm helping my continent. So what else should I should ask for? I'm grateful. Managing is about, you gotta find out what, what are you here and this earth for. Is that to do bad stuff? Is that to stay home and doing nothing? Is that if you don't have opportunity to find opportunity? Is that to, you know, inspire the people? I feel like my work is, is a lot of things going on and I feel like I have to concentrate every day and uh, always follow the same the the right path which is not easy but I like to feel the energy and uh, I feel like I feel happy when I'm doing something that is uh, meaningful so yeah. my advice for the young girls that want to be a model or to be uh, a woman one day is to tell them that don't be afraid to make a mistake. You know, life is all about learn, but if you're not making mistakes, you're not, you're not gonna learn, you're not gonna value what is coming to your way. So uh, keep trying, and if you have one dream, always have a, a, a plan B, and try to work with plan A. If it works, wonderful. If it doesn't work, you know that you have a plan B to go for and um, be strong, be smart, smart always, learn every day I can, use the internet not only to chop chop with friends but to learn about what's, what's, what's going on in your country, what's going on in your continent, what's going on outside, to have an open mind and never think about inside the box, always outside the box. I feel like young people, they're, not, they're never wrong, but the old people should advise them what to do, should help them to grow on the good path. They're just there to try whatever they heard, to try whatever they see, but us, as older, we need always to guide them. It's a little thing, you see some uh, young, uh, young uh, girl, young guy, young boy doing something wrong, you can just tell them, I prefer if you do that, this is wrong. So he actually gonna acknowledge that that was wrong. And they need guidance. I feel like, you know, guiding the, the, the young people is the best way to do. It can be a mom has to guide them, give the right information. And the young people, they don't feel afraid to tell them, my mom, this is not right. So it's like we have to share experience. It doesn't matter how old you are, how young you are, but it's all about sharing experience. Because I feel like young people, there is a young, young uh, people with open mind, with big mind, and there is uh, old people with small mind. So it's all about sharing experience and don't be afraid. Don't feel, we don't need to feel like, oh, these young people doesn't have nothing to teach me. It's wrong. We have to be open to receive and learn from it and yeah that's what life is about
Oh, we need to consume what we have the best. You know, I feel you, celebrity has to do the work. They need to support uh, the local products. They need to showcase the local products. This way they're going to be seen and they can also uh, sell from it, you know. Then as long as we consume what is ours, things going to go quick. Other people are going to follow because we love what we have. So it's good to balance. I'm not saying they cannot buy any other designers or any other Western uh, 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 brand creative, but it's always good to balance. That's what I do, and that's what I, I want to advise to be balanced, you know. And as, as a woman, I have my own experience, and I feel like. I learned from my sister, I learned from my friends, and I learned from my mom's friends because I don't have mom anymore. So I feel like I, I have to bring out there what I know and what, what have done, uh, what, what have worked for me so the other women feel confident and they feel empowered as well. They feel that, oh, there is some other women that been, she, she has been through the same thing as me and so they can protect themselves, they can be secure and confident. I don't know, I was just thinking with my mom and my sisters, but there is a, a Shimamanda as well, if you were in, um, if I mention some, uh, Michelle Obama, as a supermodel, Naomi Campbell, she also have done, she coming back and forth from Africa doing amazing stuff amazing, incredible thing. And also I love Nat uh, Natalia Mundianova, which is gonna be part of the panel here in N Nairobi, which is amazing. There's a thousand of them. There's just, I don't have only one woman that inspires me, but if I have to choose, I'll keep in the family, my sister, my mom. <laughs> Mod is a real job. If it wasn't, I'm not, I would be here like wasting my time. I would be like a doctor today or like a professor. It's a real job and it has to be respected as well. And the young girl, they should have opportunity as well. It's just to try. It never hurts nobody if you try. If it doesn't work, okay, give up, do something else. And uh, Africa is, is, is now, you know. We open our mind, we learn so much about what is outside the box. And I feel like little by little we're going to go there. And uh, changing starts from us. So if you give example, everyone will follow. Like even if I, if the people to agree with my, uh, to agree with my work, you know, it's a lot of things. But it's missing information. Like they didn't have the right information. I'm here for, you know, to tell them what is really mother is about and what mother have helping me and my family what mother is putting me on the spotlight to uh, give uh, you know disposal for my country my continent it works I feel like it's, it's not it's rare to see a supermodel like me and it's okay and little by little everyone could have like opportunity as well and show that is a real job and we're here for support one another. I want to put always African spotlight, always support not only the fashion industry because I also do a business on the side and showcase what Africa has, the beautiful like tourism and uh, what Africa is development about, you know, amazing hotel, five, five, five star hotel, the road, the roads and um, school, you know, we had to improve our, our school and our healthcare. There's so much more that I can, you know, talk about and help too but it's just the beginning of everything. So to stay grounded in this modern industry is just to remind yourself that you're never gonna be the first, you're never gonna be the last. So 
and stay balanced always stand by what do you mean never cry if you don't have a job one day because this is not consistent it's just like wherever comes from the sky or you get booked so always stand by and be ready for it. when you have the moment just show what you have the best I have learned so much everything that I am today is because of my mistakes and the thing that I have done for great and uh, I, I didn't know how to be a model before and I don't have a model uh, experience in my family so I was the first and I had to learn everything from the beginning. Uh, to be honest, I reborn to the new person that, who I am today and every, every day is a, is a lesson. I've been learning every day for my mistakes you know, and I'm always trying to do good and each job I do I try also to send the right message out there. I feel like this is the important thing about life. My final words will be thank you Kenya for having me. It's such a pleasure to be here. I hope I can come back. You know, and you guys need to learn some Portuguese too. <laughs> I'm here, you know, sweating my English but I hope I did great. <laughs>